Alright guys, welcome back. What we're going to be looking at today is um, a fundamental concept in Game Maker that a lot of people um, miss or struggle to understand. I don't think I've ever explicitly covered it or I've definitely not explicitly done a video about it and I think it merits one because a lot of people have a lot of problems that are rooted in not understanding how origins work. Um, if you're listening to me now thinking, well, what's an origin? I don't even know what that is, then this video is for you. <laughs> this will help explain exactly what a sprite origin is and um, how to set them up correctly for your game. So a really common problem a lot of people will have when they're setting up, say, a platform game character is when you've set up your character to face left and right when you press left and right, and you've done it by, say, using image underscore x scale equals minus one. You know, you're reversing your horizontal scale so that when um, you press left, instead of having to have a whole new sprite where your character's facing left, you just flip your right-facing sprite to look like it's facing left, you just mirror it. Um, the problem occurs when you turn left and this happens. So when I move right, it's being fine, but when I like when I turn, he like flips. He seems to like teleport a whole character width across um, instead of just like turning on the spot, which is what we want. Um, this is just because your origin of your object sprite isn't really set up correctly. It's probably just got its default settings. Um, so first of all, where are these settings? So the origin of your sprite, you can find it in the, um, the sprite editor. So here, this is uh, SBR underscore player, this is our player sprite, just a little green dude. And you can find this box here called origin. Uh, the origin's an XY coordinate on your sprite. By default, it's set to 0, 0, so X0, Y0. Or in other words, just the top left corner. So it's set up here in the top left corner. Now, before we actually go changing this um, in order to fix our problem, it's important to understand what it's actually doing, what this coordinate on our sprite is doing, and why it's causing problems. So, every object in your room, as you'll probably know by now, has an X and a Y coordinate. We use these all the time when, you know, we press, you know, in the very basic tutorials, for example, we've set it up so when you press the left uh, arrow key, uh, you subtract one from your X coordinate in order to move left. But think about it, that's just one pixel of space, like your X and Y coordinate. Say your object is at 200 x and 100 y. That's one pixel of space. That's 200 pixels right and 100 pixels down. So that one pixel of space is telling you the game where your object actually is at that point in time. But obviously your sprite itself is bigger than one pixel. So the game needs to know where to draw your sprite just based on this one pixel of space, this one coordinate. And that's exactly what the origin does. Um, it tells the game where to draw your object sprite based on where your object currently is in the room. So with the coordinate at its default at the moment, which is at the top left at 0, 0, let's just take a look now at where the game is actually drawing our sprite. So this red dot here that I've drawn is basically the x and y position of our object. Uh, whenever we reference the x and y position in code, it's pointing to right here. So for example, like x plus 1 would be here and like uh, x minus 1 would be here, uh, y plus 1 would be here, y minus 1 would be here. Like if we did like an instance create um, inside this object at like x plus 10, it would be like 10 pixels like over here is where it would spawn that object. Now it's drawing it down from the top left and that's because the origin of the sprite is in the top left. Because the origin is 0, 0, it takes that position so it takes our position where our object is now, like here, whether this is now x200, y500, or something like that. And it's drawing the sprite from here based on where the origin of that sprite is, which is in the top left. So it's taking here, this is the position of our object, that's where it is in the code, and it's drawing from, it, it, it's basically placing that origin from the sprite at this point and drawing the sprite from the top left, like that. The problem is when we flip our sprite around using image x scale or something like that, it flips the whole sprite around horizontally. So, and that's including the origin. The origin is flipping with it. So what happens is if I just raise the opacity on this bit by bit, you can see what happens on the frame that you turn around is notice how our object, the red dot, isn't moving anywhere, but the sprite is what's changing. The sprite is flipping around and the origin is moving to the top right from the top left. And so our object hasn't moved 
as far as the code is concerned. The object is exactly where it was before, the exact same coordinate. But because we flip the sprite around, the origin is now in the top right and it's drawing drawing it based on, on there. So in order to fix this, what we generally want to do is just, if we go into the game and click this button here in the origin box that says center, it's going to place the origin in the center. I mean, you can edit it otherwise. You can like move it around like this. You can click. If you just click on the sprite here, it's going to move your origin around. But this button here is really useful because it'll just place your origin smack in the center of your object. You don't really have to do anything to work that out. And now, like if we go back over to here, we can see what will happen when our object is here and it's, uh, it's drawing the sprite out from that position. If now when we flip the sprite around, what will happen is this, if I fade this in slowly, you can see the object is pretty much turning on the spot. It's not exactly, but it is basically turning on the spot. So if we go and run the game now, what we should see happen is that when we turn around, we're basically just turning around completely on the spot, which is much better and is pretty much exactly what we wanted. So that's pretty much how you, you fix that problem with Origins. One thing you should be aware of when you're doing like a platform game and stuff, and a problem a lot of people have run into, this is a bit specific to platform games now, but just another thing to help you understand a bit more about how these Origins work, is that you'll notice when like I'm turning this on and off here, look, the object isn't moving, look, it's staying where it is, it's, and it's flipping around. You'll notice, like from here to here, if you pay attention, look here, look, this, there's an extra line coming in here. The, because the, the, the pixel isn't quite exactly in the center, because there's an even number of pixels, it's at 16, 16, and it's a 32 by 32 sprite. So it's technically one pixel right of the center. Like, the center would be something like, um, I don't know, like, if I place a red dot here, it would be at this diagonal, and, like, just in between, like, um, these two pixels here would be the exact center of the sprite. But obviously we can't reference that, because it's, it's not a pixel of space, it's in between pixels. So you'll notice that it's not perfect, and when we turn around, like, we're, we stick one pixel, we technically move one pixel away in the direction opposite of where we're turning to. So when we face left, we technically, like, our sprite, moves a pixel left, and when we turn to face um, uh, the left, we um, stick out a pixel right. I've kind of explained that in the opposite order, I think, but <laughs> but that's what happens. So you can see as we turn to face left, um, we stick out this little pixel to the right. Now this can cause you a problem in a platform game if you uh, are jumping at the wall, for example, and and you're like you're you're sliding down the wall, and you press jump and left on the exact same frame, so you press them together, you press jump and left together while you're sliding down a wall that's on your on your right, so if there is a, a wall like here, in fact let's just draw that in because um, this will be useful to explain, if I pop a wall in here and drag it down under how can I show this best, okay I'll, I'll just leave it there but I'm going to reduce the opacity a little bit. There we go. Okay. So. Now, we're at this wall. Mm, actually, move, move that up across one pixel so you can exactly see what's happening here. So you're at this wall here, and you press... I mean, imagine this floor below you wasn't there, so you were sliding down this wall. You press left and jump at the exact same time. Now what's going to happen is, depending on the order this works in your code, um, you can move the order around to stop this from happening, but what's going to happen here is that when we fade this in, so we're starting to, to turn around to face left, you'll notice we're sticking one pixel here into the wall because of how the origin is moving. Just one pixel in. And so on that frame, if you also then, after turning around, do your collision check to check on the, uh, the floor, you're going to take uh, this area here and you're going to check one pixel down, so you're going to check from Y plus one, draw that sprite again, so you can check this box here and it's going to see here that it's touching a wall and it's going to basically think you're on the floor and it's going to allow you to jump and it's going to give you a bit of a wall jump um, effect that's kind of like hard to do but it'll exist in your game. 
I noticed a few people had left comments and stuff on uh, my platform videos saying that oh there's like a like, there's a, a wall jump in the game so and, and this is why basically this is what's causing it um, the easiest fix to this um, I mean you can fix it just by moving the order of like where the collision code and stuff happens in in your object but the, the, the absolute easiest fix for it to be instead of using 16 by 16 which puts it like a pixel ahead um, just move that back a bit to say like 14 or something like that because then when it flips around um, it's going to be moving a couple of pixels in the direction you're facing the sprite is anyway so you're not going to end up inside the wall when you turn around now that's just a, a, a little extra on the end there just to kind of explain where that specific problem is coming from so yeah I hope um, after all that you kind of have a better ex uh, better understanding of how origins work and like what exactly they're doing. Um, if any of that was still confusing, you still have um, any questions about how origins work, feel free to leave a comment. And um, if I know the answer and I, I, I see your comment, I will get around to it as quick as I can. I've not been as good recently with answering comments and questions and emails and stuff like that, just because of the sheer volume that I'm getting. But do feel free to ask your question because, you know, I'm definitely not going to answer it if you never ask it in the first place. Um, and hopefully I can get around to as many questions as possible. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope that was useful for you, and I'll catch you guys next time. See you guys.